Oh man, this is gonna be brutal. It's already, what, 94 degrees in Portland. It's uncharacteristically hot. The ultra gods are looking out for me. Yeah, just going to do a little heat training. So putting a little bit of extra layers on, do a little six mile low intensity run just to get used to profusely sweating and getting my body to be more efficient at cooling itself down. So yeah, here we go. Forcing myself to get out in the open and the sun, layering up on a 90 plus degree day is really just giving you a taste of what it's gonna feel like in the canyons at Western States. All your metabolic systems work harder, you go through more water, uh, your respiratory rate, heart rate, everything. Wow. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Ugh. This morning I'm in downtown Portland, Oregon, getting ready to do some speed work, some interval training, nothing too crazy. I'm during my taper for Western States. So I'm gonna be doing four by 400 and then a four by 200 with some easy recovery jogging in there and a good warm up and cool down. When we're so used to just running around the hills and the trails and kind of uh, run a, I run a lot of my runs very easy, so it's nice to work some different twitch muscles um, to really increase my, my VO2 max, um, to, to really increase my bone and muscle strength as well. That's another benefit of speed training. It's just something to kind of stimulate uh, my, my legs and my lungs, really, is just kind of uh, to get those legs moving and to get the heart beating faster, strengthen your heart, and to have a little bit of a higher intensity workout. Alright, done with those. Whew. Not too not bad. It's a good sign. You're at my taper. Feeling good. Alright, last long run. 50 miles from the ski resort at Mount Hood. Woohoo! All the way to trending down to Cascade Locks. 8,000 feet of climbing, 13,000 feet of elevation loss. Obviously to mimic the Western States course. So far, nobody's fallen. I think there's a lot of benefit of purposely going out to do these tough training runs where you are gonna suffer because it does prepare you for the races. Training your body for the long downhills. And I run different steep and technical terrain as well as the gradual long downhills on the Pacific Crest Trail, for example. Three to 5,000 foot descents, which is I think you really need to prepare your quads for. That way when you do get into the race, you are uh, already kind of like, oh, I know this feeling, like it's time to dig, you know. 